Hey everybody, welcome to today's edition of Cowboy Mod Guitar Stories. Here we have a 1993 Rickenbacker 360-12 V64. This was one of the very earlier ones that they did, which was uh, a reproduction of the very famous uh, George Harrison model. George Harrison originally had the second ever produced Rickenbacker 12 string. And this was Rickenbacker's first attempt at reproducing it, as I said. The original colours were quite deep and red. Uh, years later they changed it out a bit and uh, reintroduced it as uh, a 360-12 C63, which was a slightly paler finish, um, slight few cosmetic changes, um, but still kept with the, uh, the dual inputs for stereo and mono playing. Um, Rickenback 12 strings, synonymous sound. Most people would have one um, in their collection if you could. I've had a couple, keep them, get rid of them when you don't think you play them very often and then you always miss them and end up having to have them one again. Um, I've had a C63, personally I've always preferred uh, the V64, which is why this one is. Um, anyway, we better hear what it sounds like. Um, and for that, today, we're going to be playing it through um, a 1969 Marshall Bluesbreaker, the little 50 watt that we've got here behind. Uh, awesome amplifier this is. Um, although you can see there's a hot plate on top, we won't be using the hot plate, this is just going to be straight. Um, though we will actually just be using, I'm looking down on the floor here, sorry, we are going to be using a Dan Electro flange psycho flange to be precise, pedal, uh, just to churn it up a little bit at the end. So anyway, listen, here it is. Um, better hand it over to the shred and see what he can do. Okay, till next time, enjoy the Rickenbacker 360-12 V64.